practicing huge trolldom right now in that I'm about to do a Barbie video in a Monster High shirt. <laughs> but they're both from Mattel, so it's good. So today we are going to do um, an unboxing of two Barbie Collector Series dolls and talk a little bit about the... Uh, the 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 quality and some of the concerns now the first one is uh the first in a new collection called the crystal fantasy collection and this one is amethyst now you might be wondering why i'm going to take her out of the box um these are these dolls are uh from uh the barbie collector site uh, there's only 20,000 of this one made. She was a hundred dollars. She's designed by Bill Greening, who is one of my favorite Barbie designers. Uh, and the reason though, I am going to take her out of the box, even though she does this. So when you push this button, see, so that's, there's like a gimmick kind of with this new crystal collection, which we're going to talk about whether or not I'm okay with that. And so she is a hundred dollars, this doll. And then the other doll is the second doll in the pink collection, and she is designed by Robert Best. Now I will link you to my review of the first doll in this series, and I gotta warn you, I was in a mood, and I was really, really quite uh, snippy about things. Uh, and this doll, there are also no more than 20,000 made. This one though is $125. So let's uh, jump first into the Crystal Fantasy Collection. Uh, Bill Greening, I'm not sure if he's gonna design all the dolls in this collection or if he's just doing the first one. A uh, Barbie doll radiates in ethereal elegance as she embodies the power of the amethyst gemstone. Oh, I'm getting Steven Universe flashbacks. Uh, Barbie is powerful and prismatic from every angle. So let's find out if that's true, shall we? Uh, I'll be right back with her out of the box because I have a feeling this is gonna take a while. Okay, I have gotten our Amethyst doll, the first in this collection, out of the box. And in doing so, realized that they very much really did not intend for people to take this doll out of the box. They intended really, really, really wanted her to be displayed in the box. My problem with that is that the box was boring. The box itself, other than this little platform on which these two little light up gizmachis stand, um, other than that, it is just mar like, you saw it, it's like white, gray, marble. So on my shelves where there is limited space, a box has got a really mm, mean something. And that box didn't mean anything. So, so what you end up with though, just so that you know, if you take her out of the box, is you end up with, so the little amethyst things are encased in this cardboard. Uh, and I'm going to take them out of the cardboard because, I mean, we've gone this far. Why the heck not, right? And then there's a wire that holds them together. So we're going to pull this out. So now if we stand... And there's the button. Okay, so the button is on the front there. So if we were to just put her on a shelf and sort of maybe go like this on a shelf and then do that okay maybe that's not so cool maybe you have to put her kind of really shove her in the middle of them and hide the wire there you go then you know it's cool i mean i i could make that work i would probably angle them a little bit this is cool kind of looks like she's like in a little crystal cave kind of thing uh which is what i think was the intent so that part's kind of cool so i see where the budget went because where the budget didn't go was on the rest of the doll. So this is a real amethyst right here, this little stone right here. What's making me really annoyed is that we couldn't even get a plastic, I mean, I'm look, I'm not looking for links in a chain, just one of your molded plastic, normal Barbie necklace things. Like, I mean, we got the, we got the molded, ooh, hello camera, molded plastic crown. So I know you can do it, right? And we've done it a million times before. It's on a stretchy string, a string with a little bit of stretch in it that actually has this giant knot at the back of the string. And, and so you have to keep, like, I can't tell you how many times I had to 
rearrange it. Like I'm always rearranging my own necklace when the class comes to the front. It's the weirdest thing to be annoyed about. I am so picky with these dolls. This facial mold, I know this facial mold. I think this facial mold was used for the Haunted uh, series. She's like Lady of the House, the one that's holding the camera, the camera, the candelabra. Uh, that's what she really looks like to me. Her hair is white, hello, is white. Her hair is white and then there's amethyst, lavender, uh, woven into it. I'm keeping it in this the way this ponytail is even though I think I, was, I will let it out once it goes up on a shelf But for right now see like her necklace is at, at the back of her again So I mean these are these dolls are not meant to be played with these are collectors dolls. This is a hundred dollar doll This is a doll for someone who collects dolls uh, This sash is it's pretty But I mean it's like really cheap material um, now what's really cool is the fabric Look at that fabric. They've created in this fabric kind of almost the look of a, of a cave or, sorry, that's LOL doll here, a cave or, you know, a stone, a gemstone with various tones within it. Uh, and I think that's really cool. I love the cut of the dress, the drapiness. It definitely has a goddess feel to it i would call this to me would be a goddess dress right because we've got the the uh empire waist we've got the very simple top part and then just this flowy flowy unstructured material and a crown and 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 then she has these like what are supposed to be amethyst sort of gauntlets and 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 they're plastic and i understand i understand the plastic the shoes are pretty cool except they have that one fatal flaw that happens a lot uh to dolls in boxes her heel the heels end up getting bent inward so they look kind of silly like she wouldn't be able to walk on those but the, the good thing is is that they're flexible plastic and you can just shove it back so i like her <laughs> like wow you don't sound convinced melissa oh she also comes with a certificate of authenticity I want to be clear. I like her, but I also have paid a hundred dollars five years or so ago and received a Bill Greening designed doll that blew my doors off with the in intricacy and 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 the packaging and all of it. And that's why I'm being so hard on these new Barbie collector dolls because I think what we're paying to get these dolls and the, but we're paying ten dollars for a fashionista we're paying 15.99 for a color reveal doll or we're we're spending like thirty dollars on a rainbow high doll which is supposed to be a playline doll yet it has just way more intricacy and quality and, and and in packaging and in accessories and in the fashion design. And that's where my brain is just having a hard time. Like I know the Barbie brand is worth a lot of money, but I don't know that it's worth like doing this. But the, the, the sad thing is, is I'm probably gonna collect all the, the gemstone dolls. Cause I, I like gemstones, love Bill Greening. Now, next up we have our pink. Now, this, I really did sort of applaud this packaging in the first doll because it's it's really quality packaging. $125 packaging, I don't know. But what's really cool is it has this very pretty bow on the side. So the opening experience as a collector, I have to say, is, 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 is it's exciting. It feels special. It feels fancy. You know, like I feel like I should be dressed better. <laughs> And then we're just gonna, ta -da! and there she is. And I think that this, you know, the fact that I could close it back up and put her on a shelf and she's got this reflective background is really, really cool. I also love the artwork on the back of the box. Woo! Sorry for all of it. It's snowed, so I've got like major sun glare coming into the room, but it's actually quite pleasant. Um, so this is the artwork, which I think is very, very cool. Um, and it's definitely artwork of a different, of a different doll, it feels like. 
but I took the other one out of the box and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one for the same reason that I, I said on the other one. For me to keep something in the box, the box has to be really, 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 really special. And this is a cool box and I did keep the box from the other one because I'm, I use, can use it for other stuff just doll clothes, whatever I want. It's a cool box, it's a sturdy box, but I'm not taking up shelf space for this box. So I'm going to get her out of this box and we will take a closer look to her. Mm. And we will take a closer look at her as well. Okay, so it has been, oh, about two weeks since I started taking this doll out of the box. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so what happened was that I started to get her out of the box and then I got angry because she had so much packaging holding her in that it just messed up a whole bunch of stuff. And then I got to a point where there was, the, the way she was tied around her waist into this plastic in the box, it was tied in this knot. It's like a Gordian knot. I could not undo it. And, and I just, I got really frustrated and I was like, you know what, if I, if I keep doing this in a frustrated state, I, I'm going to rip something or knock something over or do something. So I took a little break and now we're back two weeks later. So she is out of the box and she's lovely. She's very, very lovely. Um, really. <laughs> You're like, I feel like there's a great big butt going to come out of her mouth any second now. She is. So let's take a look at her because she is beautiful. I love this sculpt so much. Love it, love it, love it. Her earrings did not break. And I love how they go up into her hair and then dangle. I really, really like this. Unfortunately, they had so, they had her like in, you know, like a plastic thing holding her into the box. And then there were a whole bunch of what I call kajinkers holding it all together. And even though I snipped them very carefully, um, her hairdo is just completely coming apart. So I don't, I'm just gonna not, us with it but you can see I've got like a lot of now when she's on a shelf when she's on my shelf in my office or wherever I end up putting her with the other pink Barbie I'm not going to see any of that okay so I I I, I don't want to make a big deal out of it in terms of well it's ruining my experience of enjoying the doll because it isn't really um it's just frustrating because I paid $125 for her. So when I pay that kind of money, I expect a certain level of quality in the packaging, in the uh, what happens when you remove the doll from the packaging. I mean, look at how like wrinkled this bow is now. I would, you know, if I was, if I were a real, real, you know, good, uh, collector, I would steam that and, and fix it. And, uh, but I'm not, so I won't. And then, um, I love, this is so like Oscars. Like, I just really love this. And then there's this little detail over here, um, which is tied onto that very wrinkled bow. So I, I couldn't just snip it. I needed to keep it. Um, this fabric is fabulous. I mean, this is, this. you would make a dress out of this. This is, you know, it's two ply. It's two ply, two ply tissue, but it's two ply fabric. Um, it's a, just such a gorgeous pink. I mean, such just, I mean, look at the, the silhouette on this dress is like, oh, just the way it, it spins around and just like you imagine her just, you know, dancing, dancing with someone, a waltz, and this is just kind of spinning with her, and it's all very, and then she's got the beautiful opera gloves. Actually, I think these are dinner gloves. I don't think opera gloves are this long. I'm not real, <laughs> I'm not a glove connoisseur, um, but I notice on Downton Abbey, they always wear the long gloves at dinner. Uh, and then uh, she's got these, her stand is super solid. She's got these, like, sparkly killer shoes here but again we have a situation where the heels 
they're thin, so they bend uh, a little bit in a wonky way. I think she's gorgeous. Oh, she's just, whoa. Like, I really, 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 like, really love her. Um, and I think I like her more than the first one in the pink series, who I think is upstairs in my office. Yes, she's not here. Um, and I think I really, I went off in that video about that doll because her earring broke and it ticked me off. I have to say that the posts in these earrings are super long and very sturdy. So I'm not saying that Mattel was watching my video or anything. I'm just saying that I, I was worried because you did have to take them out to pull the plastic backing off of them. And I was like, oh, this is where it went wrong last time. Oh, no. But it didn't, it didn't. And she's just, oh, look at her. I mean, she's gorgeous, right? So the hair, I could smooth it a little bit, wet my finger, smooth it down a little bit. She's gonna go on a shelf, right? She's not a Playline doll, so a lot of those things I don't have to worry about. I actually, in the process of trying to unbox her, I accidentally, I hit my teacup, my teacup splashed, and it splashed onto the dress, okay? I immediately padded the area. It was somewhere over here. Uh, immediately, I got my bamboo paper towels, padded the area, um, and I don't see it, so. <sighs> big from me on that one. I think she's beautiful. The, the question of, you know, is she worth $125? If you're a Barbie collector and, and, and you, you are, you know, just a fan of, of the designer and you're, you're just like, I love this whole pink concept. Yeah, obviously. I paid $125 for her and I really like her. And I do love the other one. If I weren't lazy and if this weren't two weeks later from when I started, I would go get the other one so we could do a side by side. And I'll, when I put them together on the shelf, I'll post them on my Instagram hanging out together. But I, I, I am excited to see what comes next in this series. And as far as this doll, I think I could have done without like this this gimmicky stuff because I feel like as a collector we have our own ways of of lighting our doll collections and and displaying them and some of you have cases with lights in the case and I don't but I don't think that that was necessary I'm not going to use it with this doll because it's just going to take up space. You know, my, as, as a collector, one of your biggest problems is space. You know, how do we display them so that I can see the beauty of the clothes and all of that stuff, not have them on top of each other. So having any extra bulk around the bottom of the doll would kind of mess that up for me. It's cool, but it almost seems like something you would do for a child or like a Playline doll and not something you would do for an adult collector. I like the touch that there's a little bit of real amethyst in her necklace. I hate that the necklace is not actually plastic because as you can see, no matter what I do, every time I move her, the, 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 the knot is gonna circle around to the front. That is just, that's just the way it's going to be. Once I get her stabilized into her, her spot where she's going to be, and I get her standing. The last thing I'm gonna do is put the necklace the way it should be, and then it will stay. But as I move her around, it's gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep making me annoyed. Um, I'm keeping her hair in this ponytail um, thing the way it is with these uh, two, because I just wanna keep the hair under control. I think it would look lovely if I let it flow, but I also know I'm really bad at taking care of my collection. Um, and so over time it would get, especially if she's gonna be not in, an, in a closed case, it'll get a little poofy. And I think this is very pretty. This is very Grecian in the way that it looks. And so it does, it does go with that whole goddess type thing. I wish there were less plastic on this doll. I love this doll. I just wish there had been less packaging drama with this doll. Um, I, I feel like worth it, maybe not 
maybe could have been less expensive, but for me, because I do collect these dolls, I do love the designers, I am in love with this fabric. This fabric is just so gossamer and it's just such a unique approach to uh, this style. I am excited to see what happens down the line and I do hope they do like all of the gemstones. And if you wanted to get to turquoise or blue topaz next, which is my birthstone, I'm a Sagittarius, um, I would very much like that. I would love to see a Barbie in those colors. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what, what you think you know, it's it's hard. There's so many dolls coming out and, you know, we don't have a lot of expendable income uh, just flying around right now. So it's hard to make those decisions. So I hope that maybe if you were trying to choose, should I, shouldn't I, I hope that seeing these a little bit more close up and hearing my viewpoints helps you just to decide should you or shouldn't you, right? And um, I did, and I don't really regret it. So I hope this was helpful. It's so weird to come back to a video two weeks later, I have to tell you. You're like, I have no idea what I was saying, but I did go quickly look to make sure I knew where I left off. Just, I was I was at the point where I needed to get her out of the box. I was like, okay, just wanna make sure I know where I was going with this story. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Are they worth it to you? Are you collecting them? Are you not going to? Are you waiting until maybe you can find them a little bit on sale? I think I may have used my Barbie collector reward on her. I feel like I did. I feel like that was a thing I did, but it was so long ago now I don't remember. But yeah, I would love to hear from everybody in the comments. Let me know what you all are thinking. I love you all so much and I will see you again real soon. Bye.